Hello and welcome to Summon RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're back in Soul Mask and it's been about a month actually since the last time I made a Soul Mask video and we were in Soul Mask itself where we built that pyramid over there. But today we're going to be talking about all the stuff that's coming, the latest Chieftains update, the chairs, the converters, the uh, hibernation pods, etc, etc. We're going to be checking all those out and I'll show you how to do everything, just like uh, the, all the new additions. We're not going to be talking about AI stuff and all the things that have been upgraded with the AI and the combat and all the defensive stuff because that's going to take a lot more testing. But we'll talk about where you can get all the different items from and what they actually do. So I did create this little tiny platform here just to build up on. We're going to firstly have a look at the chair of the chieftain. And it looks absolutely fucking beautiful, to be honest. I love the way they look. They did this. It is really, really nice. Let's take a little seat. It would be really nice if they could zoom us out a little bit more, but that's okay. Like, it is what it is. We can't really do anything about that. Um, there has been a few other changes to a lot of the things. Can we get out of the chair? How do we get out of the chair? Oh, I just have to get used to the actual things again. But I, I love the difference between, like, it's got wood that's, like, really polished wood, and it's got the the blackstone ingots kind of things around there. And you get this chair. I Just let me get the, the things up real quick. Uh, it is... Where are you? Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? I had it all written down. So the chief's chair you get from the Frost Canyon Holy Ruins. You get the treasure box and the treasure bag from the giant crater Holy Ruins and the Rift Valley Holy Ruins. Uh, uh, basically for the treasure bag is the Rift Valley and the treasure box is the giant Holy Crater. And those where you get the actual blueprints from, you get those unlocked. You actually pick them up over there. So let's pick this bad boy up. It does look really nice. I love the look of it. Let me know what you think about that chair down below. It's just a little bit of an aesthetic thing. It doesn't actually do anything massively important. Now, here's a really big item. Now, this item is going to be quite important for a lot of things. And I'd love to stick this on top when it's on, on top of the actual thing up there. Now, there's some things you need to know about the Mysterious Converter. If we go into the settings, we have the conversion process, which is a list of three types of materials. You've got materials, you've got food, you've got ore. You can only put certain kinds of materials in here. Foods, thatch. You can't put a lot of the process stuff in there. Like, uh, you can't put some of the silver ores, you can't put stuff like that, that that doesn't allow you to put the silver ore in there. Now, for me, I some of these things feel like they changed. There's, the names have changed on stuff. Some of the things look different. The icons look different. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's just because it's been a long time, but it does look a little bit different. Now, how this converter actually works. For the power, all you need is sunstones. Just stick sunstones in there. We have got some over here. Where are the stack of sunstones I had? So you just stick it in there and you can enable it. But what you want to do with the resources itself. Now, you just grab... Well, let's see if we can find something that's, like, going to be able to be usable. So we got, like... We'll get some wood in here, hardwood. We'll just get it out of our inventory real quick. We've got stone. Uh, you can't put things like coke and coal in there. I already tried to do a lot of the different items. Uh, it gives you a list of all the items that you can put in there over here. Now, when you stick this over in the other side over here, we got it converting. So this can convert directly into uh, these. So you see in a second, this will, the stone will be in the ore section. Now, every thousand ore you put in there, so it's going to go 177, 176 is one for one. There are certain other items that you can have in there. So we just say we just put this, uh, I don't know, we'll put this at a thousand and you click that on and it will store a thousand inside. So you can have that inside at all times. And it just breaks down until you get a thousand. And that thousand will then, once it's there, will convert into the new items. I'll get the overview. So you may receive materials such as jade, bloodstone, mysterious magnets, talc, gypsum, green crystals, yellow crystals after a sex successful conversion. And if you're going to be doing it with uh, wood, it's just going to be the same thing. Let's get that out of there so you can't do that anymore. It's going to do the wood, then you'll see it go up in the different ones. Now, each different kind will give you different things. Now, there are chances to get fiber, mysterious fiber, amber, adhesive, mineral oil. It really depends on what you're putting through. So the woods will go into materials. The ores, the stone, your flint, some of your copper ores, uh, iron ore, etc., etc. can all go in here. None of the process stuff, though. So, like, there are certain ingots that can go in here, tin ingots, bronze ingots. It's kind of a way to get rid of the lower tier stuff that you've crafted and gathered a load of say for instance you're in an area and your base is built around a copper mine and not an iron mine you don't want to travel all the way there you can just bang out all the copper all you want shove it in here and you can convert it now it does take a hell of a long time and it's a thousand of each so it's gonna it, it does take a bloody lot you can lower this on your settings now a massive actually one thing i massively forgot 
when you're in the actual single player set and it looks amazing look at that the sounds a bit mental though that's like really loud that's like really really loud but it looks cool as shit it looks like something out of uh, i don't know like uh a stargate atlantis something like that it goes really well with the aesthetic of the blackstone for example it fits really well the colors go really well with it now i don't know if it's going to look as good if you've got like just a standard stone base or blah 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 so it's going to look really good with the i mean this is end game tier stuff anyway but one thing you now have can go in and do all of the stuff you want to do on your single player servers you can go in you can go and change the open coefficient settings you can change all that stuff we do have some new uh, stuff over here like two-way portal on and off it's auto lock on switch so you can auto lock onto your targets now whenever you go near it it just auto locks onto a target so you're always going to be hitting in the direction you need to be hitting him that was just a really quick one there just for that one so we have this converters now all done and sorted it does it is going to take a long time to get to a thousand uh like way too long but you can go through and it gives you like what ores you can put in it up to a certain amount of ingots copper wires bronze ingots food does pretty much all of it up until like honey etc then you got materials like wood where it doesn't really put that much in there you can get extra bones wooden handles etc stuff that you don't really need anymore it's just a way to progress further and through there so we're gonna pick this bad boy up but i'm gonna go through we'll just pick all these up and that's that one there. Now, the next one we have is the actual cream of the crop, the Nomnius Noms, which is this guy here. This is a hibernation pod. Now, let me go and get my, I actually like rebuilt my blacksmith just for this. So we're going to go into the blacksmith over here. I think he's ready to come out of this bad boy now because he did die a while ago to some traps and shit. So uh, where's the remodel? Oh, we got you going. Are you ready? Where are you, blacksmith? You're ready. So where are you? Where'd you go? Are you just sitting outside? There's a really weird glowing sound. The portal gives it like an emanating sound over here. Well, there he is there. Okay, follow me. Follow me, Mr. Blacksmith. We're going to take you over. Let's deploy you. Stop dancing. We've got naked glory. Let's go. We've got some hibernation pods to look at. Come on. Are you following me or not? Oh, he's just going to finish dancing over there. Well, basically, what these guys do, it takes away your tribesman limit. So if you go into the tribesman thing, where are we over here? I've just got to remember where the hell it is now. Uh, blah, 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 L. No. Tribe. Plan. There we go. So your clan limit is minus 103 because I've got the settings up. But you can have 30, 36, blah, blah, blah. It takes away that one from there. So if we go into the view info, we'll go to... Where's the blacksmith? We'll go into here. Tribesman or... Well, Tribesman on record cannot hibernate. What do you mean on record? What do you mean on... Oh, because I have him following me or what? Where the sunstones gone? There they are. Stick the sunstones in there and it's going to enable to add fuel. We will end deployment real quick and then we'll try and do that one. Blacksmith. Tribesman on record. Ah okay okay i didn't know that that's kind of bullshit to be honest right so you cannot put these guys that are recorded into your mysterious stone tablet it's not possible you cannot do it can i erase the details real quick let me just double check if i can erase the details because that would kind of suck balls if you can't hibernate stuff that you're not going to be using anymore uh let me see on record i had to kind of guess what that was it's, it's kind of really bad uh where is the blacksmith can we delete yeah let's delete you off there mr blacksmith i've never actually tried to delete them off there where did he go did he go back up to the bloody bonfire again so let's go inside here we'll get blacksmith and we'll put confirm to put him into hibernation it does a little animation and now he's in there asleep so now he's in there asleep. My blacksmith will be in there. He's all safe. It does look cool as shit, man. It really does look cool. And we can, like, stick another couple of these up here. Let's stick them around. Just to give it a little nice little bit of a look. So it goes all the way around here in the pods. Let's just put them on every corner. Why not? I'm going to be just taking the piss a little bit here. And then you can have it in different ways. So you can have, like, your walls going up. Let's stick some walls on. We'll do a little bit of building while we're here. Why the hell not? It's been a while since I've been able to build in this game. So you can put these up here like this. And the, like kind of like the best way that I've seen so far of doing it. It's kind of having this kind of hexagonal shape. But if you go to... Where's our flooring? Where's our flooring? There we go. 
Seven. We're going to go to RZ. There we go. And you can have it kind of like that. And you can have them going up like this. And it gives it, it will give it a kind of a look. So then you can get this up here and you can stick the next one up. And you can have kind of layers going up and around. I like the way it turns out with that one, actually. Like, uh, I really like the way that, uh, the idea of doing it that way and just having it all based around. You will have to go up there and place them in better ways, etc. But that's how it works. And every time you walk past it, it'll open up. And it'll start floating there like some weird little adult man fetus. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Right, let's have a look at the next part. So the next part is the training dummy. So you've got the training dummy here. And you plop the training dummy down. So we just need one of those. Now we go into the actual thing. We go into this hammer here and you can hit it. That was loud as hell. Like really loud. Training. And it goes in and it starts training with a dummy. So he'll just swing at that dummy and over time... You can put like uh, your... I, I haven't tried to put tribesmen on there yet. Like l just normally putting them on there because it just seems that you'll have to be actually actively on there and not putting your tribesmen on there. I tried to put one on earlier, but it didn't seem to be able to do it. Maybe there's something I'm missing on that front. But this guy would just raise it up. Depending on your level and whatever you have on there. Unable to use Mysterious Warhammer on Training Dummy. That's bloody weird. Why not? Is that just a random pop-up that it had? Let's stick this over here. Have it a little glowing in the background. Mysterious Converter, where are you? Get some sunstones in there, lovely jubbly. We'll have you all glowing and shit. Looking all cool in the, do in the, like, the distance there. Uh, we do have one last thing to have a look at. Uh, we have the these guys here. So we can have the... Where you get these from different places in the map. You get them dropped from different areas. So there's respect. So we'll just use a couple of these so we can get them unlocked when we go to the mass decor table. But they come as like uh, just something you right-click in your inventory. You use them and it just unlocks. But you still have to have certain things. There's, a, there's another requirement on top of that. So when we go inside to the mass decor table, it unlocks female and male. Unless it's the, there's one where it's kind of like just... It seems like it's just male. So we'll have a look at that in a one moment. The retro reflector skin is going to come from the, the main boss at the end of the game. Uh, so we go, where is it? Why have you... Oh, no, we're in the wrong one. It's in the mask deco table. I was just looking at the wrong thing. So skin decorations. Here we have it here. So you have the rock breaker costume and the blood drinker costume. These are two of the costumes that you can have in the game. They look pretty damn cool. Although all of the headdresses are bloody fucking... They're just massive. They're all over the place. But you have lots of different kinds here. This one looks really nice. I love this one. It's kind of like a priest of the Mayan Empire. And you've got some really basic ones. Then you've got your furry ones. So if you want to use like a, you want to use your ape armor or you want to use the frog armor and you don't like it and you like fur, you can stick these on. That's my favorite one with the little skulls all the way around the arms and the chest. And that bit like the loincloth bit there is absolutely beautiful. I love that actually. And you've got more basic ones all the way down to the basic tiers. And you've got different levels all the way through for the Flint Tribe and all that. But when you have it unlocked, you have to actually have Flint Tribe Paint 2. You have to have 20 of those for this specific one. But this one, for example, you need Fang Tribe Paint 1, 30 of them. Fang Tribe's Basic Cloth, 15. And Thin Rope, 10. And then you can press Unlock. We don't have the materials right now. Be unlock and it basically just goes on your body. Let's actually, while I'm here, because I don't really, I'm not really doing it so let's have a quick look i actually prefer this one a lot or do we go for this one so fang tribe paint free let's go in there go and search fang tribe if you haven't like i'll probably do a video on how to actually do this uh fang tribe paint was it one i think it was you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a hundred of each boom 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 and it just drops in there uh fang tribe cloth uh no where is it Basic cloth. Basic cloth. Okay. So 100. Bump, bump, bump. We'll have all three of those. And what was the last thing it needed? Cotton rope. So we've got the cotton rope. Let's go and get 100 of those. Cotton rope. Bang. And then it's all there. We'll just go out of there real quick and we'll go back in. That's another thing they changed. We'll have a quick look at in a minute. We've got the skin decorations. We'll go in here and we can unlock that one. You can press it. Unlock now and you just equip it. And now we have that equipped. With our mask that we might or may or may not want. You can pick whatever mask you want to use in there. But you can have all of... Where's the uh, skin decorate? Where's mask decorations? Oh, down here. Here we go. So you can have all the different kinds. Depending on what one you want on there. We can use all of these. It just depends what one you fancy. You can stick them all on there. I actually really like this one, to be honest. 
Like, I like this one a lot. Um, but you can go to the different decorations. So we unlock this one as well. That one's done. And then you can just equip it. And then always, once it's unlocked, once you've got the ingredients that you need in there, um, you can do that. I want to see how big that helmet is, actually, real quick. Uh, oh, God. Now I've forgotten what bloody rope it was. Skin decorations. Let's go thin rope. Let's go thin rope. We'll go for the white one. I like that one better anyway. Thin rope. 100. Let's boom, boom. And then we can unlock that bad boy and we equip it. Let's have a look and see how big... Jesus Christ, that's going to be... We actually are a little bit further away. And why is my hair gone? Where's my hair gone? It makes you bald. That actually kind of looks pretty badass, to be honest. That actually looks really cool. I love that. Getting a little bit more light there. I love the look of that one. That is really, really cool. But yeah, that's what we have for the different additions to the game. Now, uh, there are a lot of other additions that we can go through. Uh, and I'm going to go through in more detail once I have more some more testing done, etc. Uh, but there is a lot of AI changes, boss changes. There's different area changes. There's, uh, there's a lot of them. We'll go through those at a later date. I'm just going to have a quick look while we're going through here. I'll put... Um, let me just change one second. I'll just change the screen over real quick. Let's go to Steam News, Google Crime. We're, we're there, here, so it's going to be right in front of your screen as well. So what we have for the little bit of extras. So the ruins, the converters will be in the ruins of the Northern Wasteland ruins, the dungeons and the giant crater hotel, a uh, hotel, giant <laughs> crater holy ruins, scorching volcano holy ruins. The hibernation pods will be in jungle cave, giant crater, scorching volcano, frost canyon holy ruins, Northern Wasteland and dark forest ruins. Um, the acquisition method for skinning is killing tribe craftsmen that has a chance to drop blueprints. Boss chests from various tribes also have a chance to drop them. The blueprint drop locations, different regions. Regions count will drop low, medium, or high level skin blueprints based on their levels, depending on where you are. Blueprints for the Retro Reflector, Rock Breaker, and Blood Drinker can only be dropped in the camps where the corresponding boss is located, so that'll be in the fortresses, etc. So there's going to be 18 sets across three major tribes. The skin duration can be worn permanently after duration, wearable by player and all tribesmen. So you can change them up depending on what you have. If the crafters, it, you want like low level crafters that can be in peasant gear and then you can have the better, like better warriors can be in the retro reflector gear, et cetera, et cetera. And we have blueprints unlocked by tablet, treasure bag, uh, uh, the chief's chair and the treasure box, which we'll have a look in just one moment as well. I'll jump over that one in a second. We've got Rift Valley Holy Ruins uh, for the treasure bag as we said earlier the giant crater ruins for the ruins uh for the ruins treasure box uh holy ruins frost canyon for the chief's chair so they've also boosted companions combat ai enhanced their survivability when trapped and in boss fights i'll have to do some testing on that to see that one they adjusted the stage structure of all the different ruins and different dungeons they optimized the respawn point of dungeon ruins they added damage immunity after cross-region teleport via portals they added the switch connecting custom built portal and cross region portals. They added the topping function of the portal list. Uh, they added portal sound effects, which kind of that humming sound, which kind of it, I, I'll probably end up turning stuff like that off because it can get overwhelming when you're in the base sometimes. They added the skill band and talent band interfaces. Uh, so you can, if you have a own private server with other people, you can delete certain skills so it's not so overpowered. They changed the horizontal extension building distance of the building part tool so it doesn't overhang as much and it doesn't overhang at the top as much so it, it does look a little bit better. And so the, the slightly roof pieces when you have it inside don't go through the roof ceiling pieces, the flooring pieces that you've got in there. The pillars top and flooring four corners can attach to each other now. Added the craft log button to the craft interface. Most of the food that appears in both food and dishes changes to be classified as one of the still uncraft changes to be learned at 51. The perfect, uh, the perfection of the arena functions. Arena's gate opens when the match starts, etc., etc. Rather than being able to run through and just obliterate people without them knowing that they, it's even started. Uh, the mimicry stays active. That's uh, something that really doesn't matter. When you go into harder master modes, there's more jaguars in the rainforest to really mess your shit up. And they have the new maintain stock. Enable it. The queue will auto switch on when the stock is low. That is a really big one for a lot of people, the crafting side of things. When you get to a certain amount of... Uh, let's go back into the game a little bit. Uh, we'll go into OBS and we'll turn this off real quick and we'll go back into the game. Uh, when you actually have a low amount of stock in one of your boxes... They will start crafting it. So when you go in, let's go into find something. Oh god, I'm pressing every single button in the bloody game. There's ostriches out there. Lovely. So we go in here, we're making copper ingots. We'll have it, and we want to have a certain amount. So we can and maintain stock now. 
So maintain stock quantity inside. We want to have 200 at all times. And then we save the plan. And it will always have that. When it gets below 200, you'll start crafting again. Now, that is a massive fucking change. That's so big. Like, that's so fucking big that it's actually insane. Like, it, it should have been in the game at the beginning. And that's a really big one for a lot of the people out there. Um, especially myself, where I was, uh, like, having to run around and micromanage everything a little bit too much. This is going to take away a lot of the micromanage. You just have to do it once and done. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And that's for keeping up certain things. Like, you want to keep your arrows at a certain level, your potions at a certain level, etc., etc. And that's basically all we have for this massive update it's going in a really really good direction and i may even start playing the game again let me know down below if that's something that interests you and also if let me know down below what the best your favorite parts of this entire update was the big chieftains update let me know down below in the comments i want to thank you all for watching remember to like and stuff for your survival giving goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams